Something's wrong. Portrait of Charles, Camilla, William, and Kate backlash as a lack of feminine nature. In a clear symbolization of the continuation of the monarchy, King Charles III and Queen Camilla stand beside the future king and queen, Prince William and Princess Kate. The new portrait was taken to Buckingham Palace just a day before the late Queen Elizabeth's state funeral. Besides compliments of the amazing Fabulous Four, the image has also faced numerous criticisms, with some royal commentators claiming there was something lacking. Rachel Bowie and Robert Fiorito, hosts of Royally Obsessed, discuss the portrait as they express their excitement about the release of the image. They couldn't help but feel something was missing. Noting the emphasis on the slimmed-down monarchy, Miss Bowie said, I think that it was very noticeable how it's like a lack of star power. It's just, it's simplified. Miss Fiorito interjected, I was just going to say that, Rachel. You read my mind. There's like a little bit of, and I think not glamour, I don't want to say it's glamour, but there's almost like this excitement that's lacking. She claimed that it's the abundance of male energy that may be limiting the excitement and vibrance of the royal family. There's just a lot of male energy, and I think what's lacking is that bright pastel, but also that delicate feminine nature of the queen, and that feels much more exciting and fun, rather than seeing like two kings in a row wearing suits. I just think there's no panache. In the meantime, it was claimed that royal experts said we would soon become accustomed to the sight of William and Charles together at official engagements. It has been suggested Wills will share some duties with Charles in order to lighten the load for our 73-year-old geriatric king. Now, after the death of Queen Elizabeth II, William is the Prince of Wales and the heir to the British throne. He has had a life lived largely without the controversy and occasional scandals that have engulfed his relatives. As a result, William was ranked high in popularity polls above the royal family. This is a very transitional monarchy, a professor of history said of the new reign of King Charles. I think we're going to have to wait, honestly, until William and Kate, until we see more significant updating. But always, of course, also attuned to the mindfulness of tradition. Moreover, given his age, Marlene Koenig, a royal historian with a focus on British and European royalty, said the new king is acutely aware of how much time he could have left. He knows that his time is shorter, but he's going to do the best that he can. He is, and he knows that he's a caretaker for the next generation. Britain's Prince William said on Saturday he would honor the memory of his grandmother, Queen Elizabeth, by working to support his father, King Charles. I will honor her memory by supporting my father, the king, in every way that I can. Charles' coronation had been expected to take place in the spring or summer of 2023. There have been reports that the ceremony could be scaled down due to the cost of living crisis. Along the time, Charles takes the helm of a royal family that has been rocked by a series of upheavals, a bitter falling out with his younger son, Prince Harry, and his American actress wife, Meghan, and the unsavory ties of his brother, Prince Andrew. King Charles has struggled to keep wayward family members in line. His defenders say he has been the hardest working royal, a tireless campaigner for charitable causes who fought for conservation long before such issues became fashionable, earning ridicule in a world that had not yet awakened to the looming crisis of global warming. But whereas the Queen was the most popular royal, liked by 75% of people, according to a running tracker by the pollster, Charles is liked by 42% and disliked by 24% of the British public.